Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Jack's Farm. Good to see you here. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. <laughs> Step right this way, ladies and gentlemen. The ticket booth is over here. There's no waiting in line. Enjoy the show. And don't forget to check out the souvenir shop on your way out. It is 10% Tuesday. Not even in your dream, Jack. What, is this all that you could get? People shopping, not watching crocodile. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen, nothing to worry about. Not terrorism. It's just a neighbor doing some construction. Kung Song's still trying to get you out? Every day. Take money, Jack. Go somewhere new. Better for my dead body. Whoa. Hey, you want a donut? Nah. But listen, let me keep an eye on the woman in pink over here, right? She looks suspicious. Oh, man. Do I really have to? She's too old for you. Why, you think she's with the Bureau? I don't know. Just keep an eye on her, right? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me this. Let's stop it. Hold up. Come here. I'll get it. You really don't have to do this. You should make Theo do it. I mean, you'll probably get college credits for this. Oh, yeah, that's good. Wheel power operator. Definitely going to Harvard with that. You can't afford another girlfriend, Jack. Yeah. Oh my god. New York's taking the lead! And New York's up ahead! That's right! Let's go, LA fans! Make sure it's here to noise! Here comes New York! Oh! We got this! One more ball left! Come on, New York! Don't let her down! Give her some energy! She's falling behind! And the winner is LA! Let's hear it! Good job, LA! Very good job! Thank you very much! Let's hear it for LA once again, please! soccer players here today. We got a whole team of soccer players, don't we? All right, what about a goalie? Do we have a goalie? You? Yes. Okay, come on down here. All right. What's your name, buddy? My name is John. John, okay, nice to meet you, John. We got some big boys on the other team. So you ready to defend that goal? Yes. You manjai, chima? Yes. All right, come on down. Let's go over here. Come over this way. All right. Here we go. Oh my goodness, oh, it's a score! Here she comes! Oh, 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 there you go, that's this! Oh, 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 just a little bit off, that's okay. Oh, here comes the Beckham curve! Oh my goodness, hit the last one! Ready? Oh, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Good job, very good job. We're proud of you despite these three balls here. What do you guys think? Did he do a good job or what? Oh. Men and women, boys and girls, this is one of the world's greatest man-eaters. One snap of his jaws could crush a human skull. But right now, our very brave resident croc wrestler, Aji, is about to attempt the slide of death, ending with his head in this croc of jaws. That's it. But before he does that, ladies and gentlemen, I have to ask for a moment of silence, please. Concentration is, of course, of utmost importance, and so is the safety we do value our employees. You ready to do this, Aji? Sure? Okay, the slide of death, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, how about that? A little bit too fast that time, but don't worry, it's okay. He's fine. We have someone else who's equally as skilled. It's a little bit slower the next time. This is Aji's young brother. Now he will put his head in a croc's mouth. Do not try this at home. Thank you very much. Thank you very hey, much. Hey, why don't you put your head in there? Because this could be my head. Oh! 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 God. Oh! Oh! Wait a second. Not a scratch on me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you coming out today. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy the souvenir shop on your way out. Hey, she say anything yet? Oh, yeah, she's waiting to see you. Bingo. 
Uh, no, Department of Animal Welfare, Evelyn Apple. She said she's responding to a citizen's complaint. Hans all you jackass. He's really trying to do you in, Chad. Yeah, well, it's not going to be that easy. You want me to put a snake in the purse? I'll take care of it. Congratulations. We're having a new promotion at the park, and you happen to be the 50th customer of the day. Therefore, you've won the grand prize. What do I win? A sushi dinner for two at any restaurant on the beach, and since you happen to be alone, I'd be honored to take you myself. Are you trying to bribe me, Mr. McQuaid? No, I'm just trying to put a pretty smile on a pretty face. Well, maybe you should consider feeding your animal instead of me. Actually, that's a courtship of you see, crocs are the most vocal and sexually aggressive of all the reptiles. Really? Scientific fact. Well, since we're talking about science here, can I show you something? Be my guest. Do you see those little brown things in there? Curculionidae, weevils. You're feeding your birds parasites, Mr. McQuaid. I believe, technically, that could be classified as a protein. Right. You have problems with your food bins. Your water system's polluted. I drink that water myself. Your meats aren't fresh enough because your refrigerators aren't okay, cold. Okay, hold on a second. Right be... there. Hold on one moment. You have to understand something. The reason our refrigerators don't function properly is because somebody's cutting off electricity here. You know, maybe you should look into who that is. Power is not my responsibility. Right. But I bet you know who it is, don't you? What are you trying to say, Mr. McQuaid? I work for the district. Nobody tells me what to do. I have my own list. Uh-huh. And I bet I'm right on top of it, right? You are not on top of anything, Mr. McQuaid. You have 24 hours to comply to these stipulations, and I'll be back tomorrow to see that you have. You know, if you'll excuse me. So what about our sushi dinner? I'm a vegetarian. So that one, well? Yeah, she works the console. What do you expect? Hey, you still got that camera? Ready and waiting. Let's put it to use. How many more days? Three? You got one. And after that, your whole family's off the project. Nah, don't even call. I hope you got some good news to tell me. I'll talk to you later. She came up with another pin. That damn sister of his. I told you to foreclose on him last week. You just can't foreclose on someone. It's a whole process. I'm putting that road through there in two weeks, no matter what. So you better have him out of there. Have you heard from the governor yet? Said he'll see you at 8. Tell Chang. I didn't buy you a seat in the council to have McCoy is still giving me problems. Everyone in town knows you still got more creditors and customers. I've got Fat giving an ultimatum on his taxes today, and Animal Welfare is taking him a visit. Animal Welfare? What the hell is that gonna do? We can shut him down. Son of a bitch! You two, get him!
section is being built in your land. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Get him out of there. Ow. Ow. The hell is your problem, Consong? Give me that. No way. You're going down, McQuaid. Finished. You either take the offer I gave you, or I'm gonna burn you out of here. Come here, come here, All the work and we got nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. Oh, Theo, come here. I'm gonna get you a ginseng tea. Salute. God, I miss this place. Yeah, but school's more important. So, uh, what are you gonna do with the photos? Show me the judge. You really think you'll come to that? Well, sooner or later, yeah. Yeah, she's cute. Hi, you're back. How old? <laughs> Twelve, maybe. Yeah, right. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, what, what are you doing? Come here, come here. What are you doing? You're too young to pick up women in a bar. She's just a kid. Thanks. Hi, I'm Theo. Oh, hi. Jack? Yes. Mr. Fang, Federal Tax Bureau. You have been avoiding me for the last three months. May I sit down? Please, have a seat. Um, you need something to drink? What about a beer? No, thank you. This would just take a minute. All right, listen, um, I know I've been kind of late on my payments. It looks like you made over this in a bit of trouble. I've had you some... have to pay your taxes, Mr. McQueen, or these gentlemen are going to arrest you. What, you're going to arrest me? I sent you this form three months ago. 75,000 baht. It's impossible. The last time I saw this, it was $500. This is like... Interest. <laughs> Interest. Every day it keeps going up. You have to pay it now. Everything okay here? Yeah, except for the fact that Mr. Fan here wants to put me in jail. <laughs> Everything's fine. Rush you for what? Mr. McQuaid owes the government $2,120. Ooh, $2,000? Yeah, you don't have to have $2,000 on you, do you? No, but I got it in the truck. You want me to go get it? Yeah, sure. Keep an eye on my girlfriend for me, okay? Uh, you right. guys want to come with me? No, they wait here. Are you Theo's father? No, I'm Theo's uncle. Oh, uncle. Is he really a rich man? He's a pretty rich guy, yeah. Have you ever heard of a big department store in America called J.C. Penney's? Does he own that? Pretty big part of it. You need to meet my sister. Very good for you. Come. If it's okay with you. Aru, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Jack. Yes. We are going to start a fire, and you are going to dive into the ocean. Get them! Get them! He's on the beach! Oh, 
for this one. It was a girl's Jeez. idea. You're kidding me. I love Jack. You girls are gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> we like trouble. Hello? You guys okay? Theo, JC Penny. <laughs> I told you that. You're Uncle Jack. You okay? Awesome. I just met a new girl and she's driving me crazy. What kind of girl? An angel. The Holy Star. Uh, I think she is. <laughs> Going tomorrow. Daybreak. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Sean Fu has a boyfriend. You guys go ahead. We're gonna stay here for a while. You don't want to be bad. See you later. Better behave, Peter, or Clip will tell us everything about you. No, I need those permits sent to me by tomorrow, you understand? Now, you've had over a month to do it. Is there always here? Send her in. If you don't send it to me about tomorrow by noon, I mean, I can't start until next year, you understand? Okay, no later than noon. You understand? Thanks for coming in so late. I understand you went to inspect the McQuaid Croc Farm today? Yes. How'd that go? It went fine. No problems? Uh, there were a few minor infractions, but nothing serious. I have to go back tomorrow and finish. How do I put this? A lot of people in town, including all the council members, want to see that place shut down. Animals shouldn't be living in those conditions. So when you come back tomorrow, hopefully you'll share our point of view. Well, I'm always interested in the animal's welfare. Good. We understand each other then. You have a good evening, Miss... Nam Wong. Right, Miss Nam Wong. Look forward to seeing your report tomorrow. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Khan Song. What's going on? We just reported an accident. What kind of accident? My sister here saw a young girl get attacked by a crocodile. A crocodile? Yes, sir. Are you sure it was a crocodile? I'm absolutely sure. Its tail made a big splash, and there was lots of blood. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.
come in. That's it. Come in. Oh, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I know, you're a loner, aren't you? I'm not going to come here tonight. And even if they do, I've already transferred the money. You don't have to do that, Alice. <laughs> well, it's better than seeing my brother in jail. Oh, no, not again. You pay the bill? Would you grab a blanket and help cover these guys up? Uh, midday. All right, go crazy. I just wanted to make sure you really existed. How's Uncle Jack? I haven't seen him this morning. Uh, can we hook up again later? I have to go to school until four. Four? I don't know if I can wait that long. Theo! Theo! Hold on. They've got a problem down on the crock pond. You need to get down there. What kind of problem? Just get down there. Listen, I'm gonna have to call, call you later. Call me then. Yeah. Calls were too early. Better than no call. Have you seen Clip? Nope. She didn't come back last night. She's probably with Peter. I told her not to do that. Do you have his hotel number? Nope. He's at the Hilton. Can you hurry up from there? Just a minute. Yeah, I need to go. You know, you shouldn't rush people in the bathroom. You can give them a lot of problems. Peter Davidson, right. please. What beach? <clears throat> Did they see anything about who he was with? Thank you. What happened? They found Peter's wallet and some clothes on the beach. What about Clip? They didn't return to the hotel last night. We gotta go. Stay with Kanya, get dressed. Go where? To the police station. Hey, what happened? Someone let the crocs out. How many? It looks like three. Two in the river, one's in the hotel fish pond. Yeah, come back, come back, come back. Got it? Hey, excuse me, shouldn't you guys have a gun or something? It's okay, sir, we've got it under control. Get the sack, we got it. Oh. Oh. Hold on, guys, I'm glad you got that under control. So far, police have refused to comment on the case. But from what we've learned, detectives are checking the possible overnight disappearance of two teenagers from this popular beach. This is Miss Singh. Thank you for coming. I just want to confirm that this is the area where you last saw your sister and Mr. Nichols. Yes, this is where I found the clothes and the wallet. Yes, over there.
What time did you leave them last night? Just before dark. Do you have any idea what happened? Well, we still don't know anything yet. But they may have been swept out by a current or something. So you think they could still be alive? Well, that's a possibility. There was a big storm last night, so we have boats searching the area. Could your sister swim? She's a good swimmer. Yes. Oh, what, up? Wait here, please. Someone get my case here, please. Can we have some privacy? Don't worry about that. Just go the other way. Do you think she could survive with this missing? Not if she was in the sea. She'd be to death in minutes. Looks like some possible tooth lacerations here. But it could also be a prop. Or prop. You know of any other kind? What about a crocodile? You must be joking. Maybe not. Well, it could be a croc or a shark. And that's not going to sit very well with the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, they've already come talk to me. How old was she? 18. Every time my wife gets me back in the temple, something like this convinces me it's a waste of time. Sir, Jack McQuaid just caught one of his crocs by the river, not far from here. Get those sacks off. Yeah. Did you get a hold of the vet yet? I've got some minutes. It's I'm going to go get some peroxide, OK? We need to clean these wounds quick. This needs to be treated. Not a good time for you to be here. What happened? Is he okay? Well, last night someone out three of my crocs. This one got stuck in a fishing net on your own now. So what are you gonna do? The question is, what are you gonna do? Did you take care of the things I listed yesterday? Do I look like I've had time to you? They were not difficult to fix, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, well, you know what? When someone's let my crocs out, it's a lot more difficult than you might think. We should tell the police. Maybe you were right about someone trying to put you out of business. Speak of the devil. How you doing, Phil? I'm here on official business, Jack. I'm gonna have to shut you down. What are you talking about? Well, for starters, endangerment of public safety. Oh, you know that's crazy, Phil. We already know about your three missing crops. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Kansong had nothing to do with this. He cut the goddamn fence, Phil. He's been trying to get me out of here for months, and you know that. Your crocs may have killed some teenagers last night. No way. We already have physical evidence and a possible eyewitness. No, there's no way any of my crocs could have killed anybody. Well, we're going to have to shut you down until we know for sure. That's crazy. We already caught two of them. And the third? 
This is serious, Jack. You could be arrested for manslaughter if your Crocs did this. So far, we've been keeping this from the press. But if it gets out and starts affecting the tourist trade, you're going to have more lawsuits on your hands than you can handle. Padlock the gates. Is this one of the Crocs you caught? Yeah. We're going to have to open her up. I've got a medical examiner on the way right now. You're not touching that croc. We need to see what she's been eating. She hasn't eaten anything. Look, they live in a hot hunt because they're raising captivity. And besides, they don't eat when they're stressed out. He's right about that, Sergeant Dan. If he'd eaten anything, his stomach would be distended by now. There's nothing there. What about the other croc? He caught her just in the hotel grounds next door. Didn't hurt anybody. Hey, it's all over the news. You've got an eyewitness that saw the croc attack a girl. You said you saw a girl calling for someone in the water. She was looking all around her. And then what happened? You want some milk? No. She's Sugar? And rushed through I'll the get water it. And went under. And is that when you saw the crocodile? Hey, hey, hey! hey. <laughs> and what what the hell happen? is going on, Andy? They just shut down McQuaid's farm. That's what's going on. And this croc thing. It's all over the news. So? It's McQuaid's problem, not ours. And you had nothing to do with this? No way. Leave us for a minute. Are we still going to the races? Later. Leave. I've already had the mayor calling me. You know what this can do to the tourist business? It's not our crop, Cap. I mean, McQuaid's went to prison for this, then we get his farm. So what's the problem? There is no problem. But if you did have something to do with this, you've got to get rid of all the people that helped you. You understand? Yeah. I've already taken care of all your gambling debts again. You should try to be more careful. Next time, bro, I'll win. from us. What's wrong? You killed her cousin. I didn't do anything. It was your animal that did it. That's not true. Just get out of here. Are you Theo? Yeah. Did you see Chung Fu? Yeah. She really likes you. Um, I'll see you later. I'm Kenya, by the way, youngest one in the family.
get out of the water. We've got a croc out here. What kind of croc? One that eats people. Yeah, right. I'm not joking. You need to get the kids out of there now. Okay, you kids, get out of the water now. You heard the man, Raymond. Out of the water now. I'll let the croc eat him. Someone at your back. All right. No! He's still alive! We have to do something! Yeah. Emily, took him out to sea. We don't have air to go out there. I don't care! Are you okay? It's about a 20-foot salty. Took the kid out to sea. Do you want to go out there? Not unless you got a harpoon. You all right? Crocodilus porosus, saltwater estuarine croc, largest amphibian on the planet, up to 18 feet long. Yeah, hey, this one's gonna break the record. Yeah, but where did it come from? Australia originally, although they've migrated to all Southeast Asia. Crocs kill hundreds of people every year, but this one, he's up in the ante. Dinosaurs, man, look at this. 300 million years old, one of the oldest living species on Earth. I've never heard of one coming this far north before. It's global warming. You think it'll strike again? 20 odd feet long. You could eat like this every day for months. We gotta help catch this one. He's a rogue.
Hello. Hi, it's me. I was just thinking about you. I'm glad you called. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm sorry everyone was so nasty. It's not true what they're all saying, Sean. There's something else out there, but no one wants to believe it. We had nothing to do with this. I know that. I want to see you again. I want to see you too. Sean Paul. Coming. I have to go. Call me tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I was talking with Molly. You should be in bed now. So innocent. They are innocent. Not when they grow up. These are a different breed. Talk we saw yesterday. It's from a different era. Monster from the past. My uh, grandfather got me a baby croc for my tenth birthday. It was grass green, six inches long. Sounds like a caiman. Mm -hmm. Not the best of pets. Ate my favorite hamster. Oops. Yeah, so we gave it away to the zoo, and then I got a red-tailed boa. Now there's a pet. Ten feet long, pees and poops like a St. Bernard. You know, I had to feed it live rabbits every two weeks. You did that? Not anymore. I grew squeamish in my old age. Well, that's good. I mean, nobody wants a killer for a girlfriend. Jack! Sergeant Deng. Be right back. Espresso. I get a double. Did you find our croc? Guess I owe you an apology, Jack. Have you seen the news? No. Well, turn on your TV. It should be coming on just about now. And in a surprise to local law enforcement who believed a locally trained croc was responsible for recent attacks, TV cameraman Alan Tong shot this amazing footage at Black Rock River this morning. This is a real croc, ladies and gentlemen. The man fishing in this boat has absolutely no idea it's there. One of our technicians has estimated the size of this monster to be at least 20 feet long. Jesus. You're going after this thing. The city's putting up a $50,000 reward for the capture of this croc, dead or alive. I thought you wanted to keep this thing out of the press. Now well, things have changed, Jack. I'll speak to you later. There's as many people going after him. Yeah, $50,000 is a lot of money. Won't be anything left alive once they're finished. That'll include a few hunters if I know this crop. I'm sorry I freaked out yesterday. Anybody would. I think you did great. It's crazy. This is unbelievable. Yeah? What's your instinct? What instinct? You need to feel what the clock feels. Can you see what he sees? Not if he's underwater. He's not underwater. They eat and they sleep. And they eat again. You feeling it? You wouldn't get up on the sand here. No cover. It's probably headed to the lagoon. What happened? 
You made too much noise, that's what happened. That thing has ears like a bat. I've been out here for hours. You just blew it off in ten seconds. Why don't you shoot him yourself? Because I'm stuck in the mud. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. Come on, give me a hand, would you? Come here. One, two, three! Oh, shit, you are stuck. Come here. Oh, thanks. I've been tracking this thing for nine months and I end up stuck in the mud. So you, uh, you know this guy personally or what? <laughs> yeah, you might say so. Stainless steel. If he bites me, all his teeth are gonna fall out and I'll blow his brains out. Oh, sorry, Hawkins. Clark Hawkins. Evelyn Nemwell, and this is Jack. Jack? Jack Quaid. Jack, you might want to get out of the water. He's got a nasty habit of circling back around. Cape Buffalo do the same thing. So, uh, hold on. How long? Shh, shh, shh. Croc you just killed. Yep, now. <laughs> My croc. Who cares? Fifty thousand dollars, man. You want to spend that money with your friend? I suggest you tell him to get out of the water. Who the hell are you anyway? Should we go after him? That would be a great big waste of time. You don't have a photo, do you? A what? We've all seen the news. You remember Kanya? Yeah, I do. I got you this. Thanks. Aww. She's so cute. Wow. Look. I hope it's okay. Honey will be mad, but she loves puppies. Come with me, little one. I want to get you some food. So, are you all right? Better now you're here. You want a beer? Yeah, is, is that okay? It's just you and me. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, so am I. That's how long you think he's gonna stick around here for? Well, I figure if he's gone this far, he must have set up a larder by now. A larder? It's a rot pit. It's a place where he brings his victims and lets them rot until they taste just right. Then he eats them at his leisure. Usually located underwater. Yeah, well, how are you supposed to find that? Well, that's the $50,000 question, huh? Isn't it? Do you want some more? Um, cool, thanks. So, how many tigers have you been out with? That's it? That's it. I don't believe you. This is the truth. What was her name? Shampoo. <laughs> I think you're very good at this. What? Okay, so how many American boys have you been on? Lots. Lots? How many is that? <laughs> I haven't been out with any. What's he doing? She's barking at something under the house. She's smelling something. What does it smell like? It's probably a crab. Ugh. 
It smells like Mr. Singh's bad breath. Curry and onions. Hey, Candy, get out of there! What is it? because it kept coming up to the floor, trying to bite me and my puppy. Hmm. What did you do? Well, I don't remember all the details because I was in shock. But I remember it was bad, really bad. Are you going to continue living in the house? No way. I'm not going near the water until they catch that thing. I want to live in a tall building. I'm just glad I spent time at Jack's Croc Farm learning what to do. What did you do? We basically retreated. <laughs> Sounds okay. like a politician. And, uh, At least he's talking up the family. family. Can you believe what that thing did at that house? Can you guarantee the city will They're turning this whole thing into a publicity campaign for their park. We're gonna get him on his taxes today. It's a damn sister of his. She keeps bailing him out. Need to get rid of her. It's not gonna be easy. What's the alternative? You wanna lose that we've got. No. So? All right. I'll take care of it. She's beautiful. She make your bum itch? <laughs> A little. How long have you had her? About three years now. Got her in Chiang Mai. Well, I guess she won't be shutting us down anymore. Oh, she got fired this morning. Con song? Yeah. You okay? I love it. You just need to shave her back. Yeah, I'll get on that. <laughs> what the heck is that? Map, map. Ooh, what are you doing? Put on there for a second. I don't think this is such a good idea, Jack. He came last night. It's like Hawkins said. So I heard he paid you a visit, huh? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, just a gut feeling, I guess. Yeah, you think he'll come back? Tell you what, I'm taking my boat out to see some good friends of mine. And they know all about him. Why don't you get that good-looking girlfriend of yours and go with me? What kind of friends? <laughs> Why do you ask so many damn questions? I just want to know if I should be wearing a suit or not. I think shorts will be fine. Just, I dedicated my whole life to conservation, you know? Now I'm about to kill something. Extenuating circumstances? Yeah. There's gonna be no room left for anything but people in this sort of suit, you know? I think you're gonna need that drink. What does he have? You don't wanna know. Here you go. A shot of OJ in your vodka. Thanks. Nectar of the gods. So who are all these people anyway? You can't have this many friends. You must think I'm pretty boring. I don't think you're boring at all. They're the ones that couldn't run fast enough. The ones that couldn't think fast enough. The ones that couldn't swim fast enough. These are all the people he killed? It's amazing that anything could cause that much pain. Funny thing is, most of them thought having their photo taken would make them immortal. I guess, in a funny way, they kind of are. I'm keeping them alive. Till I find the killer. They're just waiting. Waiting for what? To move on. Who are 
are they? The Andamans. They're boat people. They've been living on the water for generations. They're the ones who know about the tsunami. Yeah. They know all the signs. They're very smart. That's why they're still here. <laughs> Get that stern line, would you? Yeah. Hey, hey. Cup. With your cup. This is the Admiral. He speaks very little English. Oh, very little. Sawadee You live in a very wild place. แล้วเดี๋ยวมีอะไรให้ดูนี่หรูลูกปีโตเกงาบไปกิน Her husband. Are all of these people in the pictures your friends? Yes. He says it killed a few fishermen down south. The damn thing must be on the way here. He's up. They think it's the devil reincarnated. You know where it is now? We can look. Stable deep. Water warm now. Check with Chandu. What's that mean? Chandu. Avenging angel. They think I'm here to kill their enemy. But you're not. <laughs> well, I'm gonna kill it. Take the table and pay the bill if you want. <laughs> Thank you very much, but I'll be over here. If you don't listen to him, the mayor give us something to eat and get a hotel room. Yeah, that's great. First good politician I ever heard. <laughs> Did you include the bill that my friend ran away from yesterday? I'll include it. But next time, I'll chase you now. Thank you. Listen, guys, we gotta go. Yeah. All right, so let's not waste any more time. We're on our way. All right, she's on her way out. Turquoise blouse, and it looks like she's with the manager, too. Okay, I get you. You seem like a nice family. Yeah, she's raising all of them on her own. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, and that's not an easy job. Mm. Yeah, you seem pretty sweet, don't you? Yeah, and why wouldn't you be, you know? Yeah, well, I think he's a bit young for all of this. What's it doing? What's going on? Are you alright? Um, but I'm back. Okay. Okay. You know, I had a really good time today. Me too. You know, I feel bad about you losing your job and all, but. But what? Well, think about it. Now I've got nothing to fight about. Really? Mm. <laughs> that hurt. I really liked that job. Jack, something happened to your sister at the back of the restroom. Was 
she okay? I don't know. Like I told you, the guy tried to run us over, slammed into a car, and then just ran off. You guys okay? Thank you. Um, we're fine for now. What happened? The guy in that truck, he just tried to run us down. Where'd he go? I don't know. He just ran off somewhere. That direction. How's it doing? I'm To me. You trying to kill my sister? You're gonna pay. You hear me? You're gonna pay for this. The police are here. Barking at. Shut up. John, come here. Cap? We're going to the casino. We'll be back later. I'm sure you don't want to come? Nah. Can you take Chong inside? <laughs> What's he barking at? I don't know. He's just a stupid dog. He's been doing it all day. We'll see you later then. Don't spend all my money. Uh, 
I need a police in the ambulance at the Kansong residence. <laughs> this is Mr. Kansong! <laughs> 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 Sorry you had to see this man. How long will it take for this to be cleaned up? Tonight. Thanks, officer. Is it true that they can smell someone that far away? Yeah. I've seen him walk five miles across a rough road just to make one kill. Well, looks like he went back into the river. The question is, which way did he go from here? He made a circle. Killed that poor kid at the harbor to the south. Two on the beach, west. The hunter east. Now these two here. By my reckoning, that puts him on the big island. Probably at the entrance to the river. Dead center, in front of all the killings. So would you like me to put some people together? No, we're gonna take care of this on our own. The prize money. It ain't about the money. It's about revenge. Pure and simple. Start at this point. The current will bring you back along the base. There's no way to see you from the line like an airbed? Just a small hole. All right, guys, get ready. You follow us with the Zodiac. Yeah, but what if he comes to the boat? Then I'll blow its brains out. Don't get cocky now. This is his territory, not yours. Don't forget that. Be careful. How long can he stay down there? An hour. Maybe longer if he's just waiting. What size pit are we looking for? Three to four feet wide. For a crock that big. Straight ahead. I should have been out there. They're not paying attention.
No. We're going in. Come on in, I'll show you how to run this thing. Mom! Mom! What happened? Jackie got Mom and took her right out of the boat. Where? Just there. Get back in Hawkins' boat. We must be getting close to the pit. See if you can find the entrance. I'm going ashore. Don't get too close to the rocks. If you lose power, you'll lose the boat, okay? You're on your own, kid. We're going toward the land. I didn't even see it. How deep is it over there? I don't know, maybe 10, 20 feet. Maybe we'll get her back. Be alive? I don't know. Well, do you think there's a chance? Maybe. Down there, follow me. Look at this place. Allison! 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 Allison!
down there. strange guy. You think so, huh? His obsession with the photos of all the victims. They were all innocent people. I think animals have a natural instinct to protect themselves in the country. Mankind is the same thing. And you're that man, eh? Yes, I am. <laughs> is that you lost your leg? Oh, hell no. Lost that leg. 
like driving a forklift in the Navy. Ha, 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 ha,